Hey there, my name's Emmy and I'm here today to represent AdventureBox. First of all, congratulations on making your account! <coughs> or if you don't actually have one yet, thank you for your interest in us anyway. AdventureBox is an ever-expanding, player-created universe of games. But how is world creation handled here? That's the topic for today's video. Start by clicking the Make a Game button here. This will open up the Maker page. Clicking Create a New Game will start the process. The first thing you want to do is decide what type of game you want to make. Open world, battlefield, capture the flag. Well, you can't! Uh, at least not right now. <coughs> anyway, let's just create an open world for now. We got more than a few options here, so let's have a look at each of them. Start with the templates up here. A template is basically a pre-made level that exists just so you can modify it. For example, here the base template is just a blank canvas, a flat grassland. We also have templates for a human village, as well as a castle template. But what if you think templates are lame and boring? You want to create something from scratch? We got options for that too. See, terraforming here lets you decide what you want your game world to look like, giving you maximum freedom in world creation. You can generate a flat land, which lets you decide things like the size and what material you want it to be. Uh, we've already seen the flatlands though, so let's just click on Terrain. First, decide which size you want your terraformed world to be. And set the size to small. Now you can decide what kind of environment you want. You can either have a grassy environment, a desert environment, a snowy environment, or a mix of all three. Here, it's asking you how essentially bumpy you want your terrain to be. I like mountains, so let's make it pretty bumpy. Here you can decide the water level. I like water, so let's select a high water level. After this, the game will ask you if you want to set a world seed. We're not talking about plants here, or we might be. You see, the seed is a random word or number that will help affect the terrain. If you play Minecraft, you might know what this is. It's used for world generation there too. You don't have to use it if you don't want to though. Just leave it blank in that case. Click on create world and... Presto! Here is your created world. I've almost created war world here. But let's say you really like or dislike the place you live in right now and want to share that happiness or boredom with everyone else. We can do that. With the Google Maps import, you can, well, import any part of the world you want using Google Maps. Bah! A world map, I'm getting bad geography flashbacks. Hold down Ctrl on your keyboard and scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out on any part of the world you like. I've been to Japan and I liked it a lot, so let's import the entire Hokkaido. Once you've picked the part of the world you want, click Next. And now we wait. The bigger the part of the world is, the longer it will take to scan. The key here is patience. Or while it's scanning, you could go off and like play with your dog or eat a sandwich or something. Once it's scanned, the map will be imported to the game. This might take a while. You don't have to be logged in though or have the computer turn on while the import is happening. An email will be sent to you when the world is ready, so you can go off and do something else again. Or, I don't know, do a little dance? <coughs> ah yes, there we go. Now the world is here. Finally, we have the Minecraft import. But I'll go into more detail on that one in the next video, so stay tuned. Lastly, I want to draw your attention to the bottom of the screen real quick. These are thumbnails of all the games you created. Click the thumbnail to open the game world and edit it. The dots in the upper right corner of the thumbnail will open a menu where you can go to the game's game page, as demonstrated right here. You can duplicate the game if you want to create a copy if you're afraid that something might go wrong, or you might delete it. For example, this game kind of sucks. I don't need a copy of it, so away it goes. Clicking the arrow at the top of the list will hide it if it's in the way for you. Something I wish I could do with everything that annoys me. And that's, that's it. Please leave a comment on this video or send us an email if there's any confusion regarding the world creation process. We also have a Discord server where you can ask questions from other players. You can find it in the link in the description below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, 